What would a world without the so-called Islamic regime look like? This is exactly the question I asked Iranians on Twitter after 227 members of the Iranian parliament asked for their execution. I got thousands of replies. I could use my real name on Twitter. I could walk in the streets without fear of being beaten up. I could finally go back home to my homeland and hug my old mother. Ukrainians wouldn't be killed by our drones. A peaceful Middle East. 14,000 Iranians who took to the streets for these demands are at the moment at imminent threat of execution. And the president of Iran is no stranger to that. He has killed in 1988, he has slaughtered thousands of political prisoners in Iran already. It is not on us to change the regime. But colleagues, it is on us to be very clear that those who fight for political freedoms in the streets of Iran have our full solidarity and support. We need to sanction all 227 members of parliament who made this outrageous call to execute political prisoners. And we need to designate the Revolutionary Guards as what they are, a terror organization. We need to convene a special session of the UN Human Rights Council to set up a reporting and accountability mechanism. And dear colleagues, each and every one of us has to do everything possible to make sure that those dying at the moment in Iran every single day for a different future do not die for nothing.